In Blender 4 and above, the plating generator comes with a set of reusable modifiers and tools that can add panelling effects and greebles on top of the base mesh in a non-destructive way. These are completely separate to the other plating generator workflows. To install, download the zip file called Plating Generator Modifier Assets. Right click on the file and choose Extract All or a similar option for your operating system. This should unzip the contents into a folder. In Blender, go to Edit Preferences in the top menu. In the Preferences window, click on the File Paths section. Within the File Paths, find the Asset Library section. Click the plus button to create a new library entry. Navigate to where you have extracted the zip file. Select the folder that contains the assets and click Add Asset Library. In the Asset Library section, rename your new asset library for easy identification. Click the Save Preferences button to save your changes and restart Blender. To add any of the modifiers, select the object you wish to add a modifier to. Here, on the default cube, beforehand I've also added a subdivision surface modifier set to simple and with the number of subdivisions set to 4 to give the plating generator some geometry to work with. Under the modifiers side tab, Access the Plating Generator modifiers by selecting the Plating Generator submenu under the Add button. Add the Panels modifier. Once the modifier is added, you can use it like any regular Blender modifier. For instance, try adjusting the Max Height value. All parameters are documented as tooltips on each of the individual inputs. Let's take a closer look at the default panels modifier. To understand how the controls work for this modifier so you can use it on other objects, set the point factor to zero and the point size and point layers parameters to one. The point factor parameter controls the number of points that are initially selected for panels. Set this to about 40, as higher values may wash out the pattern we are trying to make. Then, the point size parameter expands the selection we have just made by a number of faces. On this type of mesh, set it to about 3 or 4. The effect is not complete without the point layers parameter. This repeats the random point selection but overlays the effect before the panels are split out. Try increasing the point layers parameter to about 4 or 5. This creates a nice variation of big, medium and small panels across this simple mesh. The modifier is not just restricted to planar surfaces and should be reusable on a variety of shapes. Here, I've added it to a simple subdivided sphere with auto smooth shading switched on. To bring out the panels further, you may also wish to add a bevel modifier on top. In the geometry section, untick clamp overlap and in the shading section, tick harden normals. Reduce the amount to about 0.01 and increase the segments to 2. Because the panelling modifier is still there, adjusting the seed value will cycle through the patterns. The modifiers can mostly be used as tools in edit mode as well. In face select mode, select some faces and under the face menu at the top of the viewport, select plating tools and the add panels option. Expand the small parameters menu in the bottom left of the viewport. If the menu disappears, press F9 to bring the panel back. Here you can adjust the parameters as before in an edit mode tool that can be used one time. 
There are other modifiers and tools that are listed in the documentation linked in the description, which I will be adding to in the future. I hope you'll find them all useful and if you have any issues, do get in touch by emailing info at configurate.net or by clicking the contact creator button on my Blender Market page. Thanks for listening.